Oh, that's beautiful. You're on, son. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the show. It's Sunrise Cash Love. QS waking you up on a beautiful day today. A little gloomy, but it's all right. We're keeping things warm. We're keeping things nice and bright. Mm, nice and cozy. Now, if you're used to luxury, you're right. used to comfort, coziness, and all the good things in life. Mm. If you are royalty, Cash, would you give up your royalty to marry a, a commoner? A commoner? <laughs> I mean, that seems to be like the fad these days, right? Uh, we are all commoners. Harry, but... Harry did it for Meghan. Oh, yes. Uh, isn't that a Japanese princess who's going to do that as well? Yes, a Japanese royalty, actually, wow, which okay. is like, you know, huge. Uh, Japan's princess Meiko. Uh, she lets go of millions and millions of dollars and her royal status to wed her college classmate. Wow. Now, uh, they're going to get married this week. Mm. Would you do that though? Let go of everything. Hmm. If I was royalty, bro, I'd have like about ten wives. <laughs> Why would I give up? <laughs> right. um, but no. But okay. Uh, when you when you look at it from their perspective, right? They've been brought up with luxury. They don't mm. they don't understand the normal normal ins and outs of being a human being, right? Uh, and uh, sometimes when when you when they probably find love or when they are with somebody, um, they always get somebody of the same status. So which means they they are either pompous individuals or they they come with uh, you know deep baggage. But uh, the thing about marrying a commoner there is the fact that they truly love you for who you are. Right. Not for your will. Yeah. And if you're still going to marry her, even though she's going to lose all of that, it means it's for love. Yeah, she's given up a lot mm. more than on his side. Uh, they were trying to get married for a while now. Okay. Uh, they didn't have the finances uh, because she's letting go of all that, right? Right. Uh, but hey, uh, Love Will Find Out is a very Aladdin type story, I guess. Mm. Uh, in a reverse, yeah, pretty much Aladdin type story. Yeah, but she got to keep the wealth, you know, and Aladdin became rich. I'm yeah, like, true. Mm. This is not like that. Uh, the imperial uh, royal family uh, will disown her, I guess, in that way. Unless they warm up, you know, like all in laws yeah. do. After Maybe all. after the kids come in, they were like our mm. grandchildren. Okay, so mm. let's let's just do that. Which is a typical story in, uh, yep. in, in any case in Lanka as well. Um, uh, you get married, the parents don't like it, and then you mention the grandchildren come. Okay, cool. We're 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 now good again. We're okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> She's given up more than one hundred fifty million yen. That's one point three million uh, uh, as well. So anyway, more of that coming your way.